Magic cards, cards, cards. Too many cards? You've tried letting them pile up. You're out of ideas. If only there were a better way to store and transport your cards, deck boxes, and cube. There's actually many products available when it comes to storage and transport for your cube or just sleeved or unsleeved guards, which is why this video will compare and contrast the Ultimate Guard Super Hive 550 Plus, the Dex Protection Supreme One Row, and the Dex Protection Supreme Game Chest. Many different Magic players have many different needs when it comes to this kind of storage and transport. But with so many choices, some are better than others. Some Sometimes, buy a lot. Let's take a look. Let's begin with the Ultimate Guard Super Hive 550 Plus. The Super Hive is one of the newest additions to Ultimate Guard's line of card storage. Featuring two main compartments for cards, as well as a slot for a prized playmat, and a small tray for dice. It can hold roughly 550 double-sleeved cards, or about 650 single-sleeved cards for your cube. In addition to loose cards, the Super Hive 550 Plus continues the tradition of Ultimate Guard products playing well with each other, accommodating a variety of deck boxes in its outer compartment. I was able to fit five of the 100 card boulders in without any issues, or six of the 80 card boulders, or four of the 80 card sidewinders, or five of the 100 card sidewinders. Well, hopefully by now you get the picture. The Super Hive works well with smaller counterparts, and this provides a great way to store all of your compatible deck boxes in one place. The construction of the Super Hive 550 is sturdy and well made, featuring stiff, suede like material in the box's interior, and Ultimate Guard's signature Xeno skin on the exterior. The materials appear to all be solidly stitched together, making making sure that the different layers of the box do not come apart without serious effort and intent. The box snaps closed with magnets, but if you're hoping that your deck boxes will stay securely in the Super Hive when it's being tossed around, then prepare to have those hopes dashed. Unfortunately, Ultimate Guard needed to invest a little bit more, or perhaps a lot more, in the magnets for the closure. Here we can see uh, it's fully loaded. It doesn't have to be because even with a lot less than this, well, I'm turning it upside down. Oh boy. And literally, ah, a couple of those hit my feet. Um, that didn't take much. And as I can show you here, I'm just gonna take a couple of them. By the way, good uh, ad for the Ultimate Guard boulders, which fell from that distance and did not come open. I am sure there is a certain way they could drop that would pop them open, but here they are intact. But I'm just gonna put two of them in here. Ooh. Hey, but they're still together. So, Ultimate Guard, the boulders are great, but I'm not so sure about this case. So as you can see, even a single deck box or two and a playmat will cause the flap to open, spilling its contents everywhere. I'd hate to think of this opening when you've got over 600 cards inside it, maybe as you transport your cube down to Friday Night Magic to play with some friends, and then open up to see a spilled disaster all over your trunk. It's huge and awkward and not something you should just carry around in your arms at a GP or going down to F&M because it pops open so easily. Though the Ultimate Guard Super High 550 Plus shows promise, his purpose is not quite clear. It's evident that the box or card holding compartment is quite useful in its own right, but do we even need this? I'd honestly rather have space for more deck boxes and cards than playmats, but maybe that's applicable for you. The lack of a secure closure and the lack of direction makes the Ultimate Guard Super Hive a confusing product. It's clearly a mashup of the archive and playmat holder, but the result here is definitely less than the sum of its parts. Maybe this is of use to you, but it seems disappointingly narrow in my evaluation. And the overall grade is just a satisfactory C. And the Ultimate Guard Super Hive does seem supremely lackluster once we take a look at the Dex Protection Supreme Game Chest. Now this holds 800 double-sleeved cards, and I feel the Dex Protection Supreme Game Chest is quite possibly the best box out there for your cube right now on the market. It combines the carrying capacity of their Supreme One Row with Dex Protection's Game Chest, fusing it together to create a box that can hold over 800 double-sleeved cards between the top and bottom compartments. Not to mention a 
significant amount of dice and tokens in its own two slide out trays. I really like these slide out trays, put dice and tokens in them as I mentioned, or just a hundred card single sleeved deck. These were designed just for holding cards. They'll hold sleeved, unsleeved, double sleeved, but they do not hold top loaders and they do not hold deck boxes. I really wanna stress that point. You're not gonna be able to put your boulders or even your ultra pro top loading boxes inside this case. It's just for cards. Real Suede Scarlet Interior. Another thing to note about the Supreme Game Chest is its incredibly strong sewn-on Velcro closure, which is clearly built to withstand the pressure hundreds of cards can place on the lid. I'm telling you, this thing is strong. Well, okay, let me show you. So here is going to be quite a test. I have got in here, uh, it's practically full, several EDH decks, as you can see. I would not want these to spill out on the floor, going to an event maybe, I'm bringing all my stuff. Velcro is on it. First off, it holds, but... Oh boy! Ah, okay, a lot of people have been saying, like, drop it, okay? Let's try another angle. I, I can't with the camera. Oh! Still together. How's the inside look after that? Ooh, that's... Strong. Looks like the cards that were loose here kind of came out a bit. Not too bad, considering those drops. But it all stayed nice and tight and secure. Good Velcro sewn in. Go into an event, throw this in your trunk. I'm pretty happy. So as you can see, despite several shake tests, it didn't budge one bit. Sewing on the Velcro strips was a smart decision for deck's protection, as it keeps the Velcro from coming off the box, as is the case when Velcro is glued on. The only flaw that's really noteworthy or even noticeable is how its exterior becomes easily covered in small scuffs or picks up dirt and grime. As you can see, tiny marks and fingerprints will accrue within a short time. And after testing this out for a couple of weeks, I was able to see marks of you after taking it out to use the cube with friends. Now this is an aesthetic issue. The materials are tough and I couldn't find any actual wear or tear. The box feels incredibly sturdy and nice. But yeah, it's a bummer to see the finish get all scuffed up so easily. The only other small worry point I see is how the lid and the cover appears to torque and wrinkle as you open the box. As you can see here, when I use the lid to open the box, the outer material puckers and folds slightly, which does have me concerned about whether or not it might tear at some point. I did a lot of stress testing on this and it hasn't budged whatsoever, which is great, but I did feel it was worth noting. Overall though, this is fantastic, simply fantastic. A compact box that, while it does pick up scuffs and marks, still remains the best, most portable way for you to store your cube or large collection of decks from commander to modern. The grade here is an A-. If you'd like something more compact, instead of the Supreme Game Chest, you can just get the Game Chest. Regular strength will do, I guess. Here we have a capacity to hold 550 plus double-sleeved cards. Price is a lot less, and we get the same quality. The Dex Protection Game Chest is designed to store large collections of cards. You could put a small cube in here, or of course a modern or legacy gauntlet, or your commander deck collection. It holds about 550 double-sleeved cards, or about 600 single-sleeved cards in its plush, real suede scarlet interior. Seven internally strong magnets hold the lid in place, and they do not budge. Well, let's take a look. I'm going to be honest with you, this one has me a little nervous, but I did some practice testing and it seemed to indicate, well, let's find out. This is a magnetic clasp on this. And as you can see, I have five double-sleeved commander decks in here filled to the brim. There's the flap. There's the opening. I'm keeping my hands where they're in no way interfering with that. So here I am holding it upside down. It's a magnet. It's a magnet. Again, magnets can only do so. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous here, but let's do a good one. Holy, whoa. Wow, 
with magnets. This is really heavy, by the way. All right, let's try a drop. Whoa, oh, ow, that hit my ankle. Um, I kind of went like this, so I know people are gonna say, oh, hey, he kind of braced it. I won't, I won't. It's, it's good. <laughs> Ooh, wow, so answer me this. How come this small independent company can put magnets on a closing, look at that clasp five this is heavy five double sleeved commander decks many of which are in the dragon shield mats which are thicker how come this small independent company can put magnets of that quality on their box but a giant corporation like ultimate guard it can't even hold itself shut i don't understand it but i'm happy to have this so as you can see even when completely full of cards and given a strenuous shake test I could not get this box to open, and yet it easily flips open with my fingertips. Great design. The box is well made and constructed from sturdy pieces of wood, then given an external layer of durable yet flexible plastic material that just like with the Dex Protection Supreme game chest, does become marked and scuffed easily. That's the only bummer here as well, and it's not terrible, but it's noticeable after using it for a few weeks. Dex Protection also offers the same storage capacity and strong magnets in its Supreme One Row. This is the lower half of the Supreme game chest and also holds 550 double-sleeved cards. So whether you want the Supreme game chest, the regular game chest, or just the Supreme One Row, Dex Protection offers the best options for this type of storage that I've seen. I hope very much this video has been of some help to you. You can help me out by remembering to like, share, subscribe, or just by leaving a message. Which of these products do you think is best? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, whether you're buying card accessories or sleeves or just packs, whenever possible, try and spend that money where you spend time playing this great game. And that's at your local game store. You're supporting your magic community. And this video is brought to you by my and many other people's local game store, Card Kingdom, a brick and mortar pillar of this community, as well as the Patreon support of viewers such as you. These are the people that keep Talarian Community College going and growing strong. So thank you.